Hi, this is Shane with The Rational Trader. It's uh, Thursday the 9th. Just a quick video tonight, uh, plus 400. That brings me up to about scratch for the week. Uh, down 200 on Monday, 100 on Tuesday, minus 35 yesterday. Um, and it really brings up kind of the point of what I want to talk about tonight is that the the markets are they're weird right now they're they're their they're volatility is changing it's still this is still really volatile this is the average daily range here when you're above 100 points it's it's the predictability goes way down uh, we had fallen through it kind of looks here you know like we're we're going back to normal but then you know stuff happens here again it looks like we're going back to normal um, so I'm running a, a model that's tuned for volatility which means it, it's more careful um, there's more noise in the market when it's more volatile, so it's harder to separate the signal from the noise. Um, but it, it, the actual behavior of the market is weird. So overnight we're seeing real, you know small ranges, which typically means it's going to be a quiet day. Um, and and yet when it trades, the market's trading. It'll be it'll, it'll be suddenly violent. So it's 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 really an odd time right now. Um, and what I'm seeing as a result of that is that. The difference between the two methods that I'm I'm using here, this is this is live over here on the right, and the left is adding a bunch of volume profile information to this to the system, and like today it was down three and three quarter points, um, but the, earlier in the week we were we I, we were down like a point all week, and so it's the amplitude that's different. Like the, the markets are really weird right now. So in, instead of, you know, in the live account, you know, minus 200, minus 100, uh, plus 400. In with the volume profile, what I'm seeing is that, you know, those those swings are less severe. Um, so I think that's interesting. If we go and we look at this, you can see that. What, what I've been, we've been talking about in the room is the uh, looking at, at the locations where we're going to make predictions uh, from the machine learning system. And so those are the orange bars. All right, so just very quickly, this is the value area high. This is the value area, obviously this is the point of control where most of the trading has occurred. That's the value area low. So we wanna stay away from the point of control. That's, we, we want places where the market's going to, um, you know, blow through or bounce, bounce out. Um, and then you'll see periodically, you know, right now on screen, you see this yellow line, that's the current low volume nodes, but that's, current there was a low volume node right there that's that that red line at that time uh, it happens to coincide with the value area high so we're interested in looking at uh, places to enter where there are low volume nodes like right there or we're at the edges of the value area all right and so when we look at this I, what i see i really like you know this is exactly the right place to be looking okay you know make predictions give me a prediction on what to do here uh, the same thing here, you know, you pull back to the value area lows. There's an orange bar there as you're breaking out of the value area. I um, actually really like this as well, where you, you, you break out, then you pull back. And so here, you know, the market's got to make a decision. I'm at the edge of the value area. Either I'm going to go back down and visit the point of control, which is what happened, or we're going to continue higher. Um, this is exactly the right place to be, uh, to be looking. Today was a little interesting and the point of control sort of acted as support, which is a, a little unusual. Normally we're kind of rotating around that until we break, break out of it. Um, here we do, here that happens, we break out of it here. So what I really, I like this right here. As we get close to the value area, we start making predictions. Again, we're, we're really extra cautious because of the volatility. So the signal to noise ratio is, is um, not as favorable. So we're, we're, we're more careful. But what I like about this is, Make predictions in here, and then you know, if you get the long prediction, you're in the market and at scratch or close to it when you get to this break level. So I'd much rather be in the market when you hit that break level than be actually entering on the break. I also like this, you know, you pull back into here and um, orange bars mean to make a prediction. Uh, we'd, want to get, we'd want to long here as it, as it, as it happens. Um, and then you you know you break higher. This is this just looks beautiful to me here. Here that's a nice pullback to get long. The system actually calls for a long right there. End up uh, taking a five tick loss, 
and then immediately get short for a five point gain and a point and a quarter gain. Now, one of the things we talked about in the room was that this is very hard for a human to do. You know, you get long, take a loss, and immediately get short. And here, it's exactly what needs to be done, right? And so, um, as you know, we're our, our, we're trailing a little too tight to catch the nice move down. Um, but this is exactly what we you sort of expect the market to do this, right? Get to the value area high, and now it's it's got to make that same decision as it made earlier. Are we gonna are we gonna are we gonna hold and break higher or go lower? It certainly looks like it's going lower, and then of course we get a, a nice pullback. And I actually short the machine shorts it right there. Uh, end up taking a five tick loss there, and then the order flow. It, the machine sees the short here. It's just a little. It's a little too volatile. Like it stopped right there, just by a few ticks before that nice fall comes. Um, but you can see what happened is we got away from the we got away from the point of control, which is right here, back up to the valley area. There was a low volume node right there also, so we started making predictions there. So I like what I'm seeing here. Um, that's all before nine o'clock. Um, predictions up here. This is again. This is ex this is exactly the place I want to be looking. You can see that's ex just the, the, the right turn. Um, here you're breaking out of the value area. This is interesting down here. That's 274, which says get short. So it sees that short. We consider that too aggressive of a trade, and you can kind of see why. Um, you can see if you get in there, you're going to get you're going to get uh, your your tight stops going to get taken out. Um, more often, we, what we see is that the, the market's really extended, and you get a really you either get a really deep pullback or uh, it's actually run out of steam now and it's turning. So that's why that's in the too aggressive to take category. Um, Let's see, and then that's it. That's the end. That's the end of the day. Um, so this is we're gonna. This will release to members this weekend. Um, yeah, should be this weekend because I've been burning this in live now for two weeks. So this looks pretty good. Uh, and then I will be. So I'll be switching to that um, next week live. That'll be on the right hand side here. And uh, we'll see the mark. will have the, the big question is what's going to happen here, right? So here's the weekly chart. Every every these these are huge panics, but they're all getting bought. Um, the volume continues to go down. It's August. Uh, it's really a weird August because it's 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 really volatile still. Really big ranges. Um, so we'll just have to see, you know. Um, I think switching to the volume profile approach will uh, again it, it will reduce the amplitudes of this of those swings. Um, so for newer traders, that's very useful. Um, the you know as you get more experience, you can take the losses because the you know the gain you know the gains are coming, but. Um, newer traders struggle so it's uh, trying trying to find ways to get a little more choosy about the trades um, is good in general um, in, I think particularly in the current really oddly volatile environment it's really odd vol volatility so we'll see we'll see if we can settle back down or um, what if tomorrow is quiet what will that mean let's take a quick look again Tomorrow has a reasonable range. Then you know this would say, whoops, that should be 100. This would say to you know use the regular model next week. So we'll see what tomorrow looks like, and then base our decisions on that, and then we'll go from there.